Shrele. Yes, Colin. Today Lane. we're going to talk about a topic that I don't really like to talk about. Uh oh. It's hard to do because one, it's sad. It's sad news. There's no happy ending. It's one of those things where there's no winners. Mm. Except for, of course, the attorneys involved. But there was a case I was reading about today, a news story mm -hmm. that highlights one of the biggest problems I see in our U.S. court system and one of the reasons that many people worry about uh, being dragged into a baseless lawsuit or a lawsuit that really they don't have any sure. fault. Tell me about it. Tell me about this lawsuit. When this releases, we will actually be snowboarding. And it's about snowboarding. Oh no! A couple of years ago, uh, two people died at a ski area. Okay. Um, they went in a ski in a tree well mm. and suffocated. Ooh. And I know. Sad. It is. Um, and so yeah, it's sad. And you know. I saw uh, people the last time we were at the ski area stuck in a tree well. I got stuck in a tree well last time we went. Really? I did not see you stuck in the tree well. No, because you're not advanced enough to get to go to the areas where there are tree wells. Anyway, tree well is you can fall down in a hole and you get covered with snow and you can't breathe. Um, which, which is why when you ski in areas that have that hazard, one, you should be aware of the hazards and the risks that you are taking and that you should have a ski buddy. Yeah. So when I fell in that one, even though I didn't really fall in like head first, which is the danger, uh, my little ski buddy was like standing there waiting for me to get buried in snow while I sat there and I clawed my way out. Thanks, James. <laughs> I'm glad you have a ski buddy. I don't know exactly what happened with these skiers or snowboarders. I know one did have a partner and was in like a expert double black diamond area, but his partner left him alone. Hmm. Um, and wasn't with him. And the other person, I think, was like a beginner who was not aware of the hazards. But when you read the lawsuit and the claims that this attorney is making, so he's suing the ski area for $30 million. Whoa. I know. And basically his argument is that the ski area should have somehow prevented this. Like it should have not let people ski in those areas or it should have closed them off. And we're talking about a tree well, so that would mean they should be roping off every single tree. Which is impossible. On a mountain. It's not only impossible, but it also would take away the fun from the people who like skiing through the trees. And so the bigger issue, I think, is that there always has to be somebody who pays. If something... But it's just an accident. I have a big issue with this. Right. So Philosophical issue. There's no such thing as an accident. There's no shit happens. People assume the risk. If we're out rock climbing, snowboarding, anything right. like that, and something happens, I don't... We chose to be there, and we chose to do that activity. I think we've just becoming this victim-oriented society. Yeah. Right, where somebody has to pay. Um, somebody else somehow caused this wrong, um, even if they weren't really at fault. And I think it seems to just be getting worse and worse as time goes on. It makes me nervous. It's on one hand, it's sad and too bad that people get hurt, sometimes die. But on the other hand, it's also ridiculous, some of these claims. Well, I think both things can be true at the same time. It can be sad that someone has passed away and it can be a challenge for the family and mm. it can be a struggle. But at the same time, it can also be no one's fault. Right. And it can be unfair and unreasonable to expect someone to pay you. It's for these reasons that we recommend that people hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Yeah, I like this theme, this 2020 theme. Yeah, because there's so much beyond your control you can have the best intentions, be a good person, and still somehow get dragged into these types of lawsuits. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya. You're welcome.